everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cheryl and today I'm going to be doing an unhaul video. Now if you don't know, an unhaul is when you get rid of books as opposed to buying new ones. Now honestly, I don't really like getting rid of books. I'm kind of a book hoarder. However, um, I've been going through my shelf recently and looking at books that I just know that I'm not going to read or that I don't want to keep on my shelf because I know I'm not going to read the sequel. And so they're just taking up space, so I might as well get rid of them. And quick disclaimer, if any of these are your favorite books, I'm sorry, I do not mean to offend you. I just personally don't have any desire to read them or keep them. Um, and I mean, you can try to convince me in the comments down below, but other than that, yeah. So without further ado, um, these are in no particular order, uh, but here are the books. All right, the first one is a book I picked up, I think at Myers one day, um, because it looked interesting. And that's James Rollins' The Sixth Extinction. Now, if you don't know, I absolutely love dinosaurs. Um, and so when I saw this book, I, it looked perfect for me. However, what I didn't know at the time is that this is actually um, part of a series, and it is way, way into the series already, and I don't have the first book. Um, so yeah, I just, I didn't feel like picking up the first book to get to this one, which I think is like eighth or ninth in the series. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and um, get rid of this one. The second book I picked up at a used bookstore some time ago because it looked interesting and that's Julia E. McKenna's The Thief's Gamble. Now I love fantasy, I pretty much can't get enough of it, however I just, I've never picked this one up. I also, I'm just not a huge fan of mass market paperbacks, so yeah, I'm going to give this to someone who, uh, who wants to read it. Alright, the next two books might come as a surprise if you know me at all, and those are going to be Michael Crichton's Jurassic Park and The Lost World. And the only reason I'm getting rid of these is because they're the mass market copies and I actually have the Barnes & Noble leather bound edition which has both of the books in one. Um, but yeah, you can see how beat up these copies are. Um, I bought them used so they're already kind of beat up but I've definitely contributed to these so yeah there's just no real point in keeping um, these when I have the Barnes & Noble copy. So the next book is a book I read probably a year ago and just the more I think about it, the more and more I dislike it. I think I rated it at the time like a three, three and a half, but I would probably drop the rating if I went back now. And that is Cody Keplinger's Duff. Um, and this is um, the movie tie-in cover, which I know a lot of people don't like anyway. Um, yeah, just the more I think about this book, the less I like it. I just didn't really like the characters. I don't like the story. I don't like the themes of the book. I don't like what it teaches young girls. Um, yeah, just overall... The more I think about this book, the less uh, happy I am with it and the more I want to get rid of it. So yeah, off it goes. Alright, the next one is going to be um, White Cat by Holly Black. Now I bought this book, oh my god, like when I was still in high school, so that has been many, many, many years. Um, and I read it back then and I really, really enjoyed it. However, I just don't really have any interest in continuing the series. I've read Red Glove, which is the sequel, but I read it years and years and years after I read this one so I had forgotten a lot about what happened in this and I ended up not enjoying Red Glove that much. As a result I just don't really want to continue the series unfortunately. Um, so yeah there's just no real point in keeping this on my shelf. Alright the next book is Libba Bray's A Great and Terrible Beauty and I didn't hate this book um, when I read it but I also didn't love it it was very, very slow in the beginning, and the story was just not interesting enough for me to want to pick up the sequel. So yeah, there's just no real point in me keeping it on my shelf. Alright, and the next book is Julie Kagawa's The Iron King. I enjoyed this book when I read it. It was an interesting fantasy book. However, I just... I just don't really feel like continuing the series. I borrowed the second one from the library in an ebook version, and I just never read it. Um, which basically made me realize that I just don't have any interest in the series or continuing it. Um, as of right now, I just there's no real desire to keep this book on my shelf. Alright, and if you haven't noticed, there's a theme with a lot of these books, and that's that I've read the first book forever ago, just never picked up the next one, and just have no desire to continue the series. Um, and that's the case with Carrie Ryan's The Forest of Hands and Teeth. Now, I loved this book when I read it. Um, but that was also in the peak of like the dystopian zombie kind of stuff, which um, I'm just not really interested in anymore. I think it's a trilogy and I've never picked up the other two. Um, I don't have any desire to. It's been so long since I've read this book that I'd have to reread this to even understand what was happening in the next ones. But I just, 
no real desire to, so yeah, I'm gonna pass this on to someone who's interested in reading it. Alright, the next book is gonna be Jodi Picoult's uh, My Sister's Keeper. Now, I read this a couple years ago, and I enjoyed the book, but I hated, hated, hated the ending. Um, and from what I can tell, a lot of people say the same thing. They just, the ending was extremely unnecessary, and more or less, it just pissed me off. I don't want to keep this book on my shelf because I ultimately did not enjoy it. Um, but yeah, passing it on. And the last and final book is going to be um, J. Courtney Sullivan's Maine. Um, I picked this up at a used bookstore um, forever ago. I didn't really know much about it. I just thought the cover looked interesting and it wasn't bad when I read it. It was a con It's a contemporary um, that follows this family who um, is visiting a vacation home up in Maine and deals with their stories intertwining and what's going on. But honestly, there's like no plot in this book. It was kind of a slow read for that reason. Not much happened in this uh, by the end and I just... There's no real reason to keep it on my shelf. I really like the cover, which is the only reason I've held on to it for this long, but yeah, it's time for this one to go. So yeah, these are all the books I'm getting rid of. Were any of these your favorites? If they were, I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend you, but let me know in the comments down below if I really, really should keep any of these. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.